So how far can the pressures of getting into a great school and the regular pressures of a teenage girl. So how far do they have to get before someone wants to murder someone? <laughs> so, hi, this is the Officially Unofficial Geek Channel. I am your host ever ready, Carrie Quinn, and I'm here with another review. This time is another book. And, uh, I, I gotta tell you, this is another one of those ones that I could not, for the life of me, put down. I, I, I work a regular nine to, well, eight to, eight to four job, um, and 40, you know, almost 40 hours a week and everything like that. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I started this book, I believe, I believe I started it, like, on this first or the second of June. It is now the seventh. I legit finished this a um, couple days ago. And so that would have been on like the fifth. I finished it. And I just, uh, it, it's, it's o just over 300 pages. Um, and it took me just a few days to read this. I'm very surprised. Um, this is, let me see if I can get this to, this is The Ivies by Alexa Dunn. Now, um, Alexa Dunn uh, is also a YouTube, uh, has a YouTube channel um, where she does give out writing advice and uh, does all that. And I actually do because I do like to write. I do listen to her. She gives out writing and publishing advice and it's really good. And um, this is the first book that I've read um, by her, but she has published um, a couple others. Uh, and this is her first published, if I'm remembering correctly, her first published thriller. Um, she writes young adult fiction, um, which, you know, really uh, the biggest deal with young adult fiction uh, most times is that the protagonists are younger. Um, there's other, there's other aspects to it, but it's the protagonists are usually younger um, and such. And uh, so the deal with this is, um, I personally never went to a boarding school. Um, I went to public school. I, but to be honest with you, I, I don't think I felt this kind of pressure, um, that they talk about in the, in the book to get into a good school. Like I was, I was one of those people that was like, she's just get into a school. Um, <laughs> uh, so this was, it's like I said, it's a thriller. It's really great. It's about these girls that, um, they call themselves the Ivies because they've got this little secret group. Well, it's not secret. Everybody knows about them. Um, they've got this group going that basically, um, does some kind of like shady work and that kind of thing to, um, increase their chances of being the ones that are picked in the super, uh, the super, what's the word I'm looking for? The super competitive, um, field race of getting into Ivy League colleges. So basically what they're doing is they're doing some shady shit to increase their chances and they're doing shady shit against their fellow classmates. And the story picks up on early decision day, which is basically when um, all these big, huge um, Ivy League uh, schools will sometimes accept people early, like right away, earlier than regular decision, which you find out more about in the book. Um, so the deal with these girls is that each of them has been assigned a school that they are to apply to and only they can apply. They uh, like out of the group, no one else is supposed to apply for the school that they are 
supposed to apply for. Now, you have a situation where one of the girls, Olivia, um, is not like the others as much where she's does not come from a rich family she's there on scholarship um she works really hard she wants to be a journalist and it has been her dream to go to harvard but unfortunately one of her friends <laughs> avery it's avery's dream to go to harvard um and since she's the the de facto leader of the ivies she is the one that is supposed to be the only one to apply to Harvard. Olivia, on the other hand, uh, gets to apply to Penn. And what happens is Olivia applies to Harvard instead of Penn because She's like, screw this, this is my dream, I'm going to apply to Penn. And then um, she never thought in a million years that she'd actually get in. She just wanted to see what would happen and she gets in. And well, unfortunately, uh, the leader that was supposed to be a shoe in for Harvard is actually uh, rejected. And they're under this impression that the most that any of these schools would take from each school, um, the most that they would ever consider taking is like two or three. And so then it's like, okay, Olivia's like, I'll be damned if I tell them that I got into Harvard and she didn't. Like, oh no, I won't. <laughs> um, so then the question is, is who else got into Harvard over Avery, this girl? Uh, and so they come to find out that, well, at first Olivia finds out right away that her roommate in the dormitory, uh, Emma, got into Harvard when she wasn't supposed to apply because she is part of the Ivies as well. So she's like, you know what? you know what, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell Avery about it because like, she's like my friend and she's going to be really happy for me. And, uh, really girl. Okay. So Olivia's like, eh, you can test that theory. Actually, she tries to convince her not to say anything. And, um, so Emma goes ahead and she tests that theory and she tells Avery after Avery gets rejected from Harvard that she actually, in fact, got into Harvard. Now, bear in mind, nobody knows about at this point that Olivia got in. So what happens is, is Emma then, then that night after the party never comes home and the next morning when Olivia and Sierra go to their rowing practice they find her face down in the the, the, the practice area drowned And there is evidence of, uh, of strangulation. And so they are, the coroner checks her out and really is just like, yep, she, she was killed. This is a homicide investigation. So at that point, everybody looking at each other like, what? And everybody is definitely looking at Olivia because she doesn't have an alibi for the night before. And definitely a lot of people are looking at Avery as well because of the fight that they had when uh, Emma told her about Harvard. So she was none, none too thrilled about that one. I can tell you that. Um, so not going to tell you about the rest of the book because that would really just give everything away. And the thing is, is it, it's the fact that Emma dies is like 
is the thing that really gets things going. And, and, and I, you know, if I was going to have one, um, criticism about the book is that, um, in the beginning, the reason why I couldn't put it down is because I was like, can we get to the body? This is a thriller. This is a murder mystery thriller. Can we get to the body? It took quite a few pages before we got to the first, um, body. Well, it was just before we got to the body, um, that was involved in this whole, whole shebang. Um, after that though, I, I have to say that after that, it was very much a, I am not able to put this down because it was actually moving, you know, at a very interesting and very well planned, um, pace. Um, well thought of pace and it at that point it really revved up and uh, it really revved up in a in a way that I really did enjoy it a lot so like I said if my my only criticism is that it took a while to get to the body um, <laughs> took a while for the book to drop the body on us but um, once it did once it did it was like okay here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, I gotta tell you that there were a lot of face palm moments um, involving some of these kids uh, in the book. And um, I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Like how close things got and like, and then how completely out of nowhere some things happen and then there was stuff like, I like to pride myself on being a person that um, can kind of get things and catch on to things like pretty, pretty fucking quickly. So there was a couple items where I was like, oh, so sure, this is, this is going on here and this and this and this is going on. And I was on the mark. I was. And that's, that's not to say that the book was predictable or anything. Cause like there's, there has to be, to me, there has to be a certain level of predictability in this or else, you know, you as a reader don't get that moment where you can be like, I fucking knew it. Because the thing is, is what, when a book does something well like this, you get that moment where you get, I fucking knew it. Right. But then a book that does this, this whole thing well, will be the kind of book that a reader will be reading it and they'll be like, eh, yeah, I fucking got it. Right. But then there's even more of a twist. And the thing is <laughs> when you thought the story was going to wind down here, there was more, there was more that you didn't think of, or at least I, I didn't think of, I didn't think of, you know, and that's, that's where it comes. Cause you, cause as a writer, you kind of like that whole idea reading these thrillers where you're like, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. But then you keep going and it's like, oh, what? How did that happen? And that was definitely what we got from the Ivories. The Ivies. The Ivies, Ivies, Ivies. Good job. Good job on giving me the, both of those moments in one book. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Alexa Dunn. Thank you. Um, so I really hope that, uh, I like to see more of, of this thriller uh, suspense writing from this author. So hopefully, fingers crossed, um, for her. And uh, wow. <laughs> um, so um, really interesting story, really great um, female protagonists, um, ones that had to grow as, as people in this story. And there was a lot of growth 
on the part of Olivia and I really did enjoy that. So that's another, another, uh, you know, aspect of my enjoyment of the book is that there was some definite growth with the main protagonist, Olivia. So, um, overall, um, not a lot of gripes on the, on this one, not a lot of complaints. I would recommend it to you if you're into, um, YA, uh, type thrillers. Um, very good, very well written. Um, no complaints really on my end except for the, the one I already mentioned. So, thank you. Uh, so that's it for that review. Please do all the face or Facebook. I'm on YouTube. Do all the YouTube things and like, uh, share, and subscribe if you're not already. And please comment if you've read this book um, or comment on any of my other reviews if you've read or watched or listened to what I'm reviewing that week. Um, I want to know what you thought. So, um, please go ahead and uh, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button so that you are aware anytime I upload a video. We shoot for Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So maybe some other little, you know, gems in between there. And uh, so have a great day, um, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. Um, so Thank you for, for watching, and it, I hope you enjoyed my review of The Ivies by Alexa Dunn. Uh, please find time to geek out and read and buy small. And um, this has been the Officially Unofficial Geek Channel with a weekly review. And I am always your host through it all, Carrie Quinn, me, the one, the only the geek just like you geek out stay awesome bye